This is Lesson 21 Homework, Module 7 of Grade 2. Write your name. Do that first so you don't forget it later. Then uh, we're finding the value of the point on each part of the meter strip marked by a letter. For each number line, one unit is the distance from one hash mark to the next. So these are hash marks, hash marks, those are hash marks, and this is a unit. That's how far apart they are. And what we have to do is figure how far apart are these units? How, what, what are we skip counting? We're skip counting. What are we skip counting by? And then so once we figure that out, we can figure out what the, what the letter is. You can do this by guessing and checking. Uh, if we're going from 10 to 40, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're not counting by 1s because that would only be 16. Uh, if we were counting by 10s, it would be, this would 10, that would be 20, 30, 40, but 40 is way over here. So we're not counting by 10s. So we, it's got to be in between 1 and 10. Let's try 5s. And then we can try twos. Um, those are the easiest numbers to count by, so those are the ones that you should guess and see if they work first. So let's try fives. So let's see, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So fives work, fives work. So this would be 15, 20, 25. So each unit has a length of five centimeters and a is 25 centimeters <clears throat> for this we have a number line that starts at 55 and ends at 105 that's a lot of room in between the two and so I don't think fives are gonna get us all the way to 105 from there I think maybe tens might work let's see if tens work it will be 55 65, 75, I'm just guessing in pencil. I can erase it if it doesn't work out. 85, 95, and then 105 would be next, so tens work. So each unit has a length of 10, because this is a unit. In between the marks is a unit. That's a hash mark, that's a hash mark. It's 10 centimeters in between. And B is 75 centimeters. Number two, we have, oh, now the letter is in the beginning, but we have to figure out the distance in between. So this one's going to be a little trickier, but we can, we have to figure out from 210 to 240. Uh, let's see, it's not ones and we're not, are we counting by fives? 15, 20, no, because we have to get to 40. So these we're probably skip counting by tens here. So if that's 210, this has to be 220. And this would be 230. And then it works because then that gets us to 240. So if this is 210, if these are 10 apart, then we have to go back 10. That means this is going to be 10 less. And 10 less than 210 is going to be 200. So each unit has a length of 10 centimeters and C is 200 centimeters. And we have a few more of these number line puzzles. Each hash mark represents five more on the number line. So for this number line, we're counting by fives. And we don't know what the units are, but we know we're counting by five. So this is 400, this is five more, 405. And that means D has to be 410. And then this one here is 415. And then this is 420. So the difference between D and E, difference means we're gonna subtract. We could count it by fives, it's 510, it's 10. We don't have any units here, so we just write 10. D is 
410 and E is 420. These are just numbers on a number line. Each hash mark represents 10 more on the number line. So now we're counting by tens. And it only gives us this one here at the end. So that means we got to go backwards. So we, each number going this way is going to be 10 less. So we're going to figure out 10 less than 115, that's 105. And then 10 less is 95. And 10 less than that is 85. And 10 less than that is 75. And we have 65. And then you get to 55. So we've got them all figured out now. What's the difference between the two endpoints? So endpoints are the left end and the right end. So the difference between the two endpoints is 115 minus 55. But you don't really have to do that subtraction to figure it out because we're counting by tens, right? So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The difference is 60. And F is 55. And finally, 5, each hash mark represents 10 more on the number line. So whatever G is, this is kind of the same sort of puzzle, it looks like. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? So we have 650 at this end, which means that each one is going to, going backwards, is going to be 10 less if we go back. So this is, this is 650, that's going to be 640. And 630... And then 620, 610, and 600. And this last one here is going to be 590. The difference between the two endpoints, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And G is 590.